Hi, I'm Divya Gugnani, and we're here at 14 in Los Angeles, where progressive American cuisine takes on a social dining concept. So let's go behind the burner and meet the chef. So I'm here with Michael Mina. Um, Michael, tell us what you were making for us. Um, we're going to make a tapioca crusted Thai snapper with a warm basmati and fruit rice and a sesame, and a sesame vinaigrette. You threw in the basmati rice for me, I know. I threw in the basmati <laughs> rice for you. Yes. I, I, I'm humored, so let's get started. We have the Thai snapper, and mm -hmm. so we're going to start just by seasoning it. Season evenly, season on both sides. There's many different ways to bread fish. This is one of my favorite breadings. We use buttermilk. And then here we have tapioca flour and cornstarch 50-50. The buttermilk um, will make it adhere to it, gives it flavor. The crust with the tapioca flour stays really crispy, so it'll hold up to a vinaigrette. And you want to coat that generously in the flour? Yes. Take off a little bit of the excess. We're ready to pan fry. We have our oil. If you stay at about medium to medium high. And what kind of oil do you like to use? We're gonna use canola. Good for frying, doesn't, it's a nice neutral flavor. So whenever you're putting anything in the pan, obviously you go away from yourself so you don't burn yourself. We're starting with it um, skin side up. This will take about three or four minutes. While we do that, we'll go ahead and we'll warm up our rice. So how do you pick your ingredients? You're trying to balance flavors here. What, what we do is there's really four flavors that I always try to balance. If that's acidity, sweetness, spice and richness. What we have here is the basmati rice, which we basically just boiled for about um, eight to 10 minutes, and we put a kefir lime leaf in it, which just I for love. a little flavor. Which I love, amazing flavor. And we're gonna add edamame beans, fresh mango, bell peppers, almonds, which will give it nice texture. And, and so you're looking for different flavors, but you're also looking for different textures in the dish as well. Here I have some snow peas that have been blanched, and chopped cilantro. In our vinaigrette, we're gonna have chopped garlic, rice wine vinegar, which will give us our acid, lime juice, fish sauce. Gives you a little bit of saltiness. And sesame oil. So Michael, how's our fish doing? I think we're ready to flip. You've got that golden brown color around the edges. We'll go ahead and just warm our rice. So you're not worried about your already cooked rice burning? No, we're gonna add just a little bit of water to it. And we have our vinaigrette. Oh, so now we have our, our fish, and when you had asked me before about why I went to skin side up first, we're gonna crisp it up. We're gonna finish it with a touch of whole butter. Wow. Which will just, this is the trick. This is what'll just help it brown. And now we're also gonna turn it up a little bit right now. Let that go for about 30 seconds. While we're doing that, we check on our rice, which all we wanna do is warm it. You can see it's nice and warm now. Mix it up. Our vinaigrette and our rice, both of them, all we wanna do is get them warm. And you know, here it's very important cooking on low heat. Don't turn the heat up too much. You don't, all you're doing is adding yourself more aggravation. Nice. And we're ready to plate. We're gonna just go take our rice and just right down the center of the plate in a few spoons. All those beautiful colors. Next, we're gonna go our fish, just one filet. And so we have our sesame vinaigrette, which we... I'm ready to eat. <laughs> So Michael, the aroma is just beautiful. I smell a Thank little you. bit of that sesame oil yes. and some of those Asian flavors. Yes. I'm ready to dig in yeah. too. The Christmas of the crust, it, it holds up to a, the vinaigrette. That's why I, I like does. the tapioca flour. It stays crispy, it doesn't get greasy, it doesn't slide off of the fish. And then the idea of the balance. Hopefully you taste that, the acidity, the spice, the sweetness. It's delicious. Thanks so much, Michael, Thank for you. having us. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Stay tuned to Behind the Burner, where we give you the tips, tricks, and techniques that are lighting the culinary world on fire.